of the year again. We are in the food storage room talking about 72-hour kits. Emergency kits, if you will. So this year I'm trying to change stuff up a little bit. I've taken the three buckets they already have, and this is just a substitute bucket. I'm going to get a new one when I go to town. And I've labeled one spring 17. That means that's when I'm going to go through it. One 16, fall 16, and that one probably says fall 17. So we just went through the fall 2017 bucket and put the 2017 label on it. So every six months I sort half of this and I'm noticing a lot of this really tasty things are disappearing. <laughs> so like this just has um, trail mix in it and I actually put toilet paper in this little this little thing. I thought that might be handy to have in an emergency toilet paper. So these are just some things that we're, that we're storing just in case. Because when the zombies come and the government goes down, you're going to have nobody to rely on but yourself. There's some water. <laughs> so we have some water and juice and different things. Like this giant pumpkin that I made a few years ago. <laughs> That's so hideous. John's uncle was like, you're never going to finish that. So I finished it out of spite. See, technically you put the candy in there and then you give it out to the little trick-or-treaters. Um, not very good lighting in here, but I did want to show you... Oops. <laughs> some of my... Uh, some of my applesauce is back there in the back. Impressive, huh? I still had a few things of pears right there. And I found on Pinterest this calculator that can tell you how much you need uh, for your supply for um, like a family of six. Like you type in how many um, kids over seven, how many people over seven years old do you have in your family and how many under. And then it calculates how many, how many pounds of the different things you might need. So... Anyway, pretty exciting. I know you guys are excited. Okay, if you have any questions, if you want to know about that calculator, let me know. If you have any better ideas, let me know. Let's see what's in this other box besides. We'll see what's in spring 2016. I know, it's already two minutes long. What the heck? Ugh, it doesn't have everything it needs in here. Oh, there's one thing of jerky. <laughs> Somebody's been eating my jerky. There's some hot cocoa and some cups and some gum. So, yeah, that one needs to be updated, I would say. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, I don't actually know what I'm doing, and my camera's not in focus. But I've taken a piece of sheetrock, and I've uh, screwed some screws in there. I think I did 15 of them. They're an inch apart. And then I took some plastic bag and strung it between them. And now I'm going to weave this other color plastic bag the other direction. It. <laughs> I love it. I'm not quite sure how to get it off because these are on there pretty tight. Originally I was going to use nails um, but I just got too excited and we already had the screws um, at the house so I just used screws. I'm wondering if I can just unscrew each of those and then screw them back in. Anyway so this will be one side and then we'll have the other side and then I have to do uh, what? The width of it? No, it's hard to explain. The bottom and the other sides and the handles.